Okay. Okay, and we are back after two weeks. Uh, another marketing meeting. Uh, this time we have a new uh, member. Uh, and um, I will just let you introduce yourself in short, just so the rest of the team knows you. Um, I think we all did this kind of introduction and thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so well, first things first, my name is Eduard, uh, Eduard Bob. <laughs> Um, on the forums, I go under Epsilon, um, probably uh, not seeing me around because I haven't been super active. Um, I've been, yeah, I guess using Nix OS for about three years. And um, <clears throat> yeah, to, just to, to make the short story why I'm here, it's um, basically I've had a couple of opportunities um, where I was in the position of like, recommending to people some kind of tools for either DevOps purposes or Linux distributions, but never really qu quite felt okay. Um, I could, uh, I could uh, with a good conscience, recommend Nix because there are some steep uh, learning curves there, um, which makes it a little bit complicated. And so when I saw this um, uh, post by, by Rock about um, founding the uh, marketing team, I found this quite interesting. I thought, okay, I'm going to be free uh, I have a lot of time in my hands right now um, because I'm sort of transitioning from a uh, um, from a con uh, from a fixed uh, permanent position into a, a freelance um, uh, thing right now. So I wanted to do more open source. So this is a good opportunity to maybe um, yeah try to take some of this time to work on the marketing stuff. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, just so I check, do you, do you have access to the agenda? I do, yes. Yeah. Oh, OK. Um, I, I guess we'll just go slowly, um, item by item. Um, just as a comment, I reorganized um, a bit um, while because I was looking, because there were a few t uh, points talking about the same thing, especially uh, David. I put your communication thing uh, higher. Uh, into the because it was we'll talk about communication later on. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll just go there to announcement and then we'll start uh, with the discussion. Um, so the first one is the planet.nixos.org is back. I this was one of the things we broke. Um, it's a RSS aggregator. Um, I don't know of any other tool that does this, and I think it's quite useful, especially we will be using it more and more, but we'll discuss this in communication uh, later. Um, uh, so this is back. Uh, of course, design, there is a none or is the same as it was. So um, we should do something about it as we go forward as well. Uh, download page. Uh, I think this was the main thing I was trying to finalize. Um, yeah, um, it, it, it's done. It's better than before, but it's just organized a bit. Um, we can actually, when we will discuss the landing page, I think this, or in general, Nixos, we can see how much we are missing because there are quite a few things that are not as it should be. Um, and if we are talking about having every like Nix and Nixos polished, I think having all the needed download links on the download page is one thing to verify are we kind of polished um, enough, at least. And there are quite a few things we can quite quickly do until next release. Um, OK, landing page is the next topic. I mean, I'll stop now. Is there any comment you want to give? Um, these were just announcements. You've probably already seen them. Um, OK. Uh, so landing page, uh, I'll give a, sh a quick introduction what we discussed previous time so that we kind of refresh. Um, and uh, yeah, then let's uh, try to, uh, I forgot also to, there is a PR open um, and I'll share the screen when we will discuss it. Um, um, so we will, we could review it together what's done so far and uh, it's not much, but uh, there is at least something. Uh, so what we talked about, so our audience, well, it's beginners, it's for beginners, for newcomers to Nix. Uh, 
mainly about developers and uh, uh, on the kind of the Nick side and the ops and cloud uh, on the other side. Uh, so the strong points about it, like the, what Nick brings, we said it's heterogeneous. Um, so kind of this going into the multi-language uh, uh, story so that you can have, so um, it's probably better to have, uh, to use Nix on a projects where uh, you have complex uh, build systems. So multiple languages. Um, so that's kind of the, the area. Uh, kind of we shortly compare it to Bazel. It's kind of like comparing to Bazel, it's a, like it's the same almost as Bazel on some front. Um, it misses on the others, but where we are kind of exceeding more, it's kind of declaring um, external dependencies better. Um, so then we talked uh, about a bit of, about reproducibility. That this is one of the main things that we actually distinguish ourselves from the others. Um, that we, we use also other names like hermetic, uh, reliable, um, which kind of it's the not the synonym, but it's kind of falls into the same category. Um, on the landing page, we said we need to make it easy to try Nix or kind of give a quick way to install it and kind of satisfy um, the curiosity of a newcomer. Um, we said also there should be some kind of uh, examples where Nix ex uh, um, ex uh, excels. Uh, we then have the discussion of whether we should put the Nix OS on the desktop or not. Uh, on the front page, um, I think the discussion was that this is a, um, like that we would like we were not hundred percent sure how, but I think like there is not even more options we could have the, have here, which is NixOS on mobile, NixOS on desktop, um, or maybe even going for NixOS for pen testing, NixOS for like in the different situations, right? So this we can all capture. Um, so this is it. I'll just finish this um, opening with, we probably will not have all of what we said last time on the front page uh, because it's first Nix is not ready there yet. Uh, I think I'll keep the, like for certain things, right? You will, you will see once we open and start uh, discussing that um, Nix is not ready there yet. So we kind of need to also provide a middle ground way. Right? So, what can we do this week? Um, how can we change landing page this week so that we don't lie to the audience? Uh, so we don't, but still kind of have a better presentation than it's currently. Uh, okay, I was too, I did too much talking already. Um, so I'll just start sharing. Um, and I mean, the floor is open for comments. Um, I think David, you had something to say. Um, uh, regarding Nix? Uh, regarding, we said we found the consent for the audience of Nix. Uh, sorry, I'm reading. Uh, yeah, uh, regarding this landing page review topic. Um, regarding Nix in general. Uh, okay. Because. Um, on the download page, uh, we had some discussions in the review, and I thought, what is the audience of Nix? We had found a consent for what is uh, the audience for Nix OS, but I think Nix in general is not that complicated. So uh, the audience could also be normal users or advanced users of Linux in general or Mac OS. Uh, I think this this is kind of captured under developers, um, if I understand, right? So the question is, if only we want to focus on developers, or maybe also on users. So we co uh, could say um, macOS users that want to have uh, up to date packages can use Nix for that. Uh, I think this all falls, for me, this all falls uh, under developers, right? Um, like, I think the term, like, it's a bit uh, broad. 
I don't know. What What do you mean with it falls under developers? Um, so like, uh, so developers, so they're not developers of Nix or Nixwise, right? We don't target those. <laughs> um, we target people who are developing on uh, Mac OS. So correct. So for example, you're the Python developer, you have a Py you spawn Nix shell or you write the default Nix, you, you add the JavaScript framework in Haskell in and you have a complex project and you're developing it on OS X. That's how I see it, right? It's like this is the developers. Yeah, but it's not necessarily the case that only developers want to use Nix for package management. I mean, yeah, if you just want to, but but I mean, the question is, do we want to um, uh, target non-developer users? Uh, can you? Okay, then maybe I don't understand what non-developers are. Well, users, people who are not programmers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if is. Is this the, okay, At the... okay. For example, on macOS, uh, there's a general uh, recommendation to use brew to install packages on the command line. Right. And I think there are also users that are not developers that do that. I'd just to ask a question, um, what, what, who do, what do you call users on macOS who are installing, like what kind of audiences are there? that are installing programs on the CLI on macOS that aren't developers? That's a good question. No. And the question can be uh, turned, uh, turned uh, the other way around. Garbas, what, what are you calling a developer? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anybody using a CLI is almost by definition a more advanced user, but yeah. not necessarily a developer. So uh, can, can we, would be good enough to agree that the developers are people who use terminal, like for the sake of the argument so far? Well, well I no, I mean, no. there are obviously people who use terminals who are not developers. And I think and about developers that don't use a terminal. I think about sysadmins who might not identify as a developer, but ah, yes. use target. Um, okay, so we need a new, uh, so when we are talking about like, um, developers in our term, uh, when when we decided to market for developers, we actually meant people who use terminal? No, no, no. Well, no. I mean, the, the question is one of audience here. So obviously, yeah, yeah. there are non-developer users who might want to use Nix, but the question is, do we want to target that audience? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, well... Probably not because the the intersection between well the the, the number of people who are uh, terminal users but are not developers or uh, sysadmins. But I mean that's a kind of developer. I mean they write shell scripts at least. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I mean I, I guess I guess I don't I don't feel like we need to say developers exactly, but. We do, we do need to establish the expectation that there's going to be some terminal action going on. Right. Yeah. And then store power users. The question is also whether this makes sense to lump this all together under the same umbrella or whether they, these kind of say, as a developer say, I'm, I'm, I might have very different expectations of what Nix is doing for me than if I'm just a terminal using power user who is not developing software, who is just like customizing things with a couple of scripts here and there. Um, so we might want to highlight very different things to these different types of audiences, right? So. Right. I mean, so even if most of our users are developers, uh, I mean, I use Nix often enough for things that are non-development related. I mean, if I do something like uh, running Blender from Nix packages, that's not a development activity. Uh, it's just a general package management activity. Uh, so. Can I ask maybe differently? Uh, 
how good are we at this, uh, right? Because uh, in like one of the criteria to have for the being on the landing page, for me at least, is that we are more or less polished, right? So um, this means, uh, so I know, are we, how is our story on non Nix OS as a package manager? Well, not very good. Um... Right now, the I mean, CLI uh, UI is not that polished. But yeah. when we have that done, um, I think yeah. it's generally easy uh, to install a package and keep yeah. it updated. Uh, I, I... Go ahead. So um, the kind of going forward, we might consider putting this kind of uh, audience on the front page once we polish. Make sense? I, I just want to this is sort of off topic, but um, are we doing the, the five minutes thing? Uh-huh. Um, uh, we're 15 minutes in. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes into this discussion. Um, uh, so just to explain it again, every five minutes, uh, roughly, we'll have a vote with a simple thumbs up and down. Um, uh, but uh, you're not... Please vote on... Um, with the hand, which is in Jitsi. Uh, hand means thumbs up, which means let's continue the discussion a bit further. Um, my proposal, is, is, yeah. is this okay? Yeah. My, my proposal would be for us to um, come prepared next time, thinking about audiences and, and the different, different roles people might play, like uh, a developer who's a sysadmin or the developer who's setting up a laptop for their their family or that sort of thing and come to come prepared for to discuss that as a bigger time next time okay uh let's maybe for the landing page that we're now this kind of uh, under this topic let's try to focus only on what we can do this week so what we will put on the landing page and i'm sharing the screen i hope you all see it and i'm opening the preview um what's there uh do you see it yes is yeah. it yeah yeah okay so um clearly the text is not polished uh i was playing with the positioning uh comparing three different pages one one was the habitat brew um like habitat brew yeah, a few of them. Um, uh, and what I found that is that having the left and right, having Nix on the left and Nix OS on the right, uh, I think we can um, address it completely at the top uh, with a, some kind of a statement, which is a bit bold. It should not be as long as it's now. Um, uh, at least the title and on the right side there will be a picture or a slideshow um and the, and then getting started would be basically linked to a download page that's for the start and of course the text needs to change uh but that's um that is actually what i think we should discuss now uh in which direction to change it I'll zoom in a bit more. My, well, I'll let somebody else go. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I can say that I like the layout. Uh, clearly there is some CSS changes that need to be done. Um, yes. Yeah, clearly, right? Uh, but like as a general guide, like there's some spaces missing, some stuff, but um, we don't want to do too much of the CSS. Uh, uh, like go, we don't want to redesign the whole page. That's the main goal. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting uh, on the, the contents to be more complete to uh, propose uh, fixes that do not redesign, but uh, well, fix the uh, layout. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, we should get rid of that whole search for packages and install a package uh, because we just decided that that's not something we want to prominently display. I mean, not install Nix, although I'm not sure yeah. whether that needs to be there, but the whole search for packages and install a package. I agree. So the, I took this idea from Brew, uh, but I think if we go, we should do something regarding how do you use the Nix immediately, like at least two commands. And my question is, which two commands then? So I, I had this idea of um, firing up a Nix shell as a first useful thing that's not... Um, that doesn't have this uh, mutable environment um, yeah, yeah. problem so much. And then maybe letting people also fiddle around with their first shell.nix file. So this is probably a little bit more in tune with the uh, immutable I, nature. I agree. So, yeah, I agree too. OK. But, uh, so not, not nix shell dash p, but uh, here's a shell.nix. And then you can run nix shell, and you get a declarative environment. Yeah. Or even dash p, but uh, with the f right after an example of the shell of that's equivalent to the dot p. Um, maybe we will have um, a section also here below, uh, I hope. This is just one of the examples how to use Nix. And I was hoping that we'll have more examples of how to use Nix. I have currently only written in my note notebook uh, it's how to use like this, where Nix really kind of shines in terms if you come from the outside community, outside Nix.js, which is uh, the shebang uh, uh, for scripts, where you can declare your packages and just write, let's say, a Python script or a bash script with few dependencies. Um, that might be one of them like, running the tests for desktop. So that would be a bit more like a, I don't know, slider. I don't know how to make it a bit. Um, so, Rock, I just want to say I really like this so far. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a start. Like, I was mostly f trying to figure it out so far how to do the rest of the... No, 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 no. You don't have to nag yourself here. It's, there's a lot of room to go, but I really like what, where you're doing here. Or, so, originally, when I started to talk in the very beginning, I was going to be like, I don't know, I kind of think MixOS is the better thing to do. But something that's cool here is like we could have them install Nix and then like trick them into accidentally building like a Docker container and also a Nix OS server. Um, that is amazing. Exactly, Docker container. No, seriously. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Why did I? Yeah. You co you cover both stories, right? You cover the ops story, in a sense. So Docker container. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Writing it down. Docker. Oh. I'll anyway transcribe them. Yeah. The meetings. Uh, and, and, and just like the idea that they've just installed Nix and now they could build like an AMI or something. And like they don't even have Nix OS, but they can still build an AMI. Mm. That's like, put this what dreams are made of. Uh, am I understanding correctly? Like all these examples you just gave are from. Uh, the, I don't want to open the topic, but the audience which we target is exactly the this advanced cloud ops ops people, and this is what examples we should put. I mean, some others might find themselves useful as well, right? If you if you show the Nick shell. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I think I think of variety is important. I know personally, I think I've been pretty transparent about this. Is that really what I care about? It's the deployment story. <laughs> but yeah. that that said, like. The bread and butter is like most of the time I'm using Nix, it's it's opening up a Nix shell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think with this we can make the this gray box they a bit nicer with this comment. Uh, uh, the next question is we can discuss this later. It's about um, uh, the title and the description completely top 
at the top. Uh, we can have a small discussion now, but later we can take it to the PR and we can comment directly on the, li the, the lines that change it. Um, just so we don't have to come to the concrete conclusion. If anybody has better suggestion right now that you also want to discuss if it's a good enough one. Yeah, I mean, I would drop the word her hermetic. Okay. At least not put it in the title. I would say something like reproducible builds or something like that. Reproducible builds and deployments. Uh, yeah. Not have a slash in there. Yes. Are we uh, do I put so our audience, the DevOps, are they familiar with the reproducible builds effort? Is this a, almost a trademark already? Uh, I mean, maybe they're not, but they're not familiar with the word hermetic either. And the word reliable is, is I mean, it's rather vague. I mean, I think reproducibility is a clear enough term. You don't have to be familiar with reproduciblebuilds.org. And by the way, it's not just reproducible builds, it's reproducible deployments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, rephrasing it, reproducible builds and deployments now, the rest of it is a bit weird, uh, really fr phrased at the moment, but um, of what? Or we should just kind of reproducible builds and deployments. Done. Dot. Yeah. Um, For, yeah, I, that, that might actually be enough. Or, or you could say of complex systems or something like that. But uh, that's actually uh, yeah. one or list. Thing, uh, go ahead. Or list the uh, what you can. Re uh, reproducibly build in the text later on instead of putting it in, in the title. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, the title needs to be very short. Okay. Um, one thing that I want to be cautious of is um, so, like, I don't know, I've probably told the story before, but the first time I saw the NixOS homepage, I was like, yeah, these are lies. <laughs> this isn't true. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think I think if we can put examples of it working like really really prominent, because if if we fill out like these these boxes like deploy to cloud external dependencies and stuff, the actual bit about how like what it looks like to use Nix is just about below the fold. Um, might be good to bring it as high up as possible. Okay, so uh, we can. Sorry, so bring this, what bring what up as high as possible? This gray box. Yeah, like with the examples. A, yeah, here's a, like here's a sample of Nix shell. Here's a sample of build a Docker container. Okay, and then we show that, off. Uh, I mean, that would be in the to do on the right side, right? A video slash picture of Nix as in action. Uh. I mean, you yes, can have a can little animated uh, GIF there showing. Uh, running some command that does something or a live interactive nix shell to a real nix shell uh, even better uh let's start small let's have a picture <laughs> <here> first <laughs> I, i'm just scared you know like because if we say let's build the world let's just have a picture first of the world we want to build it's good enough <laughs> no <laughs> uh, i think like a middle ground is somebody can quickly uh, record uh, a video showing of this we can actually be um we, we can be duplicating it. I don't think it's a, not a problem if you duplicate the message. Uh, it's like you more reinforce it. it not, not saying that we should, uh, each line should be the same, but uh, even if you say, uh, oh, you can do NixOS somewhere on the page, uh, you can build Docker images somewhere on the page, you can also show in a video how to do it. Yeah. Sure. It just shouldn't be sort of visible at the same time, because then it, it looks sloppy. If, if... Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that but this should be fine. Yeah. So at the what we're currently seeing, um, so there is a title, there is a description of what kind of a statement what Nix is. This is going to be so much bike shedding. <laughs> uh, but it's like, like we know that we want to mention reproducible many times. That's our core yeah. strength. Uh, they will be getting started uh, to go to the downloads page. There is the video right below this. It's going to be how to install Nix. And then uh, already showing the use cases. 
uh, that we, examples that we just discussed, um, which will be tied together with uh, like so. Right now, there is this three boxes, uh, and those will be kind of merged together. So uh, multi language support, and you can show Nick shell dash p and how to use it. For example, or just default Nick's. One of one of the two, right? Uh, and the same thing for deploying to cloud could be just building a Docker images and deploying. Right. Okay. So I'll. Is there so? I mean, so problem is that a lot of these uh, examples are. It, it's hard to show them in just a few lines of. Uh, uh, code okay um, um but i mean well we'll see i will share the um work how i think can be done and it's done in a sense i s great we should not have this but okay nice. <laughs> archive the torg uh yeah uh Um, okay, let's see. Um, the last one? This one? Okay. Um, for what it's worth, it loads here. It loads here. I wonder what's happening here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh -huh. They have like, here they have this, like you write a plan, you build it. They kind of tell a story. Uh, should I make it bigger? I can sort of make it out, so it's fine. Uh, so they have this, they kind of tell a story, how like the whole life cycle. Uh, and then either you click on these links, when you build application, deploy, you run it, they also run it and manage it. It's a bit like, you know, like they, they really target uh, the habitat really now targets the, the same um, uh, audience that we do. They're about cloud deployment and managing and everything, right? And for the uh, contents of the landing page, we could do something um, vaguely inspired from that, uh, something I had in mind just before, where um, we focus on a, on a uh, first use case. But this first use case is part of a list, and each element of this list is actually a link that changes the the landing page to focus on that use case. So we we would we would need to write more content. We would need to produce more content for this page, but we we don't have to uh, fit every everything into one single landing page. It could be um, this list should uh, should be presented in a way that you. Uh, you know you can click it to view uh, either the uh, uh, Docker use case or the next shell do use case. But once clicked, the uh, uh, elements in the landing page describe this use case instead of the default one. So in a sense, you would have the same use cases. When you click on it, it will just have a bigger example below it here. Um, in my uh, before seeing the Habitat SSH uh, web page, I had the mind uh, the idea that only the introductory paragraph will stay the same. Everything else, as much as it makes sense, would uh, change. Okay, I mean, I mean um, I'll put it this way: we can give it a try. It's like we'll have examples, uh, and we can switch between them, so, uh, in yeah. one or the other way and see whether we should re 
change the whole page or just part of it. Um, okay. Um, so now you see where I got the three boxes <laughs> uh, from. I kind of found the layout really nice and simple and yeah, cool. Look some telling. Uh, I hope this is not called is not stealing, but like borrowing <laughs> good ideas. It's all right. So I have nice. it on good authority that Chef Habitat borrows a lot of good ideas from Nick's packages. <laughs> okay, that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, Let's make another round uh, of discussion next time. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a bit more polished. Uh, or you want to discuss further, uh, that's also fine, if there is some more to be discussed. No, I think it's, uh, it's good. Yeah. I'll try to, uh, as I work on this front page, I'll try to, um, uh, yeah, uh, like during these two weeks, I'll try to bring it up on the the channel uh, for you to review and kind of get. It would be nice to have like more uh, uh, tight, tighter loop of reviewing, so that we can maybe move a bit faster with this. Um, but everybody's busy. I understand. <laughs> One thing I'd just like to discuss under this landing page topic, which came out for me, was there is a lot of. Like it, it was really hard for me. A lot of times it's really hard whether we are a Nix or NixOS community, right? Or we are both, or we are neither, or we are two communities. Like just the naming, um, I, I find a, it confusing. I've got a strong opinion on that personally. Yeah, yeah, please. I think we're the NixOS, the NixOS community. Okay. I, Nix, Nix is, is so generic and you can't Google for it. And like, yes. there's, a, there's a rust crate called Nix that isn't us. Like, yeah. I, I think we're Nix, I think we're either Nix OS or like the cool Elko tool, whatever we come up with a new name name for it. Yeah, but the, so the problem, the problem with this is that it's basically at odds with the message that we're trying to convey here, which that it is mainly about Nix and that Nix is just an application of Nix that you might want to use if you're doing, say, VM uh, deployments. Um, so there, there's sort of a, a, a uh, disconnect between the technical message that we're trying to uh, convey yeah. and, uh, and uh, yeah, name for the community. I mean, it, of course, the website is also nixos.org. Um, and, and it's about Nix. <laughs> there's there's a cheaty way to uh, uh, escape this. Uh, never does it say what OS stands for. It could be for open source. It could be for anything else than operating system, except <laughs> for the operating system. So the Nix OS Foundation might not be the Nix Operating System Foundation. It might be the Nix OS for something else. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. So just retcon what Nix OS stands for. <laughs> Good. <one. laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think we will rename Nix, NixOS, but um, <laughs> uh, I think this is confusing also, uh, like to a lot of newcomers. Like, what is Nix? What is NixOS? And just like, oh, am I in the Nix community? NixOS? Like, I heard it many times that this is confusing. Uh, I, for, for my, I don't, I mean, I do care how it's called, but uh, for me, right now, it's more important that we choose something. Uh, and try to stick with it, uh, even if it's not perfect. Like, for example, I'm completely fine. We have a NixOS domain. Let's call ourselves NixOS community. Um, you know, NixOS package manager can be used also. Um, uh, um, huh? NixOS package manager can be also used on other OSs. Yes. You know. I think that would be, I know it's well, not so clearly. I, I really think it's fine because, because there's like our brand is around Nix OS, whether like the fact that the tool is separable is, is fine. But like, there's also Docker, like Docker is actually Moby at this point. What is Docker is? Docker is now Moby. 
Ah, you don't, true. You don't, you don't have Docker unless you're paying them a lot of money. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think I don't think it matters very much. Um, well, yeah. that sort of thing does matter because it's very confusing. It's like KD and Plasma, and uh, I mean, I, 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 I never know what it's. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the, those sorts of branding changes are extremely confusing. Yes. Uh, one yeah, thing. Like, sorry. Uh, on IRC, there there are people sometimes coming on the NixOS channel and not knowing if it's fine to ask about Nix or asking where do they ask questions for Nix. Yeah. Uh, uh, should we for now just go with the Graham's uh, suggestion and call ourselves at least in our text for now, right? When we write on the front on the website, let's do the NixOS from now on and try with this and see how the landing page works, like. Uh, and if we dislike it, we'll change it, of course, right? Uh, we are not making any decisions so far, but we are just like, okay, let's give it a try. Let's try see it. How the, yeah. It's pretty much required to be that way because it's nixos.org and uh, yeah. we can't get nix.org. So yes, that kind of forced us what we have to do. Okay. Um, Okay, I think like, I wasn't really expecting an answer for this, to be honest, well, which uh, awesome. Um, um, think, on, that, yeah. on that note, real quick, um, well, not sure how many of you know or not, but uh, the .com version of our domain is, not, is an adult website, um, which isn't Nixos, great. Nixos.com? Yeah. Yeah, which uh, according to archive.org predates the uh, existence of Nix. Um, and I, I managed to get a price from from them on what it would cost to buy. And it turns out that they want 12 months of the income they make, which is, I think it was like, I think it was like 19,000 euros total. Anyway, just wanted to let you all know. Okay, so um, dear internet, um if we want this we'll need your help <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but i think this we can look later on uh like maybe like the whole commercial website where we i, I hope we will have this problem uh at one point let's put it this yes. way. i, don't I mean for, for, for many years whitehouse.com was also a porn site so uh <laughs> the, the white house survived yeah. <laughs> I, I learned that in school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we are quite in into the discussion. I think this is important that we went through this landing page because that's the next thing that we're working. Uh, but let's uh, the, let's go to the next topic if you all agree. Okay. Um, so communication in NixOS community, and I don't mean like. Uh, so this is the next topic, uh, and I mean here more from the perspective of how marketing team can facilitate uh, and help either um, uh, to help beginners or newcomers to Nix community get the right information. And the marketing team should provide the right channels and, of course, propagate it on the website. Um, so I will I will just list what we currently have, and we probably have more. Um, so please add it to the list. So currently we have this uh, like the short uh, news items, uh, which are shown on the front page. Um, with the whole redesign, this will they will actually go away. Uh, so we also need to uh, kind of think about uh, let's say two times a year there's going to be a big NixOS release. We probably want to have it also a place on the front page somewhere. It's like hey, new NixOS is out. Um, we have a weekly. Uh, on a separate domain, completely not advertised uh, on nixos.org. Uh, we have a planet, which is a kind of unofficial, um, uh, kind of basically just RSS aggregator, also not linked anywhere on nixos.org. So people just randomly uh, put their blog, blogs there. Um, then we have discourse, the, uh, the announcement sections on the discourse. Um, I think mostly is this is what people are using because that's where the most of the news are, even or the articles that they usually put them there. 
uh, that might not be true. Um, uh, and we have a YouTube channel um, as well, which we mainly use for these meetings and uh, Nick's, OS, uh, Nick's office hours, uh, Nick's, o Nick's OS office hours, sorry. Uh, and we also have a Stack Overflow, which is, we have a tag there, which I find it quite useful. Um, oh, uh, I see I didn't uh, finish that sentence there. So uh, all of above are kind of the news channels that serve a certain purpose. I would like to combine them at least to some degree um, uh, and kind of provide ways for teams. Um, I would like to provide an insight from an outsider how the teams are working. Uh, an example, RFC uh, steering committee uh, should write their minutes uh, on certain page, which we can then show somewhere on nixos.org. The same thing for any other team. It's more, it's not, the reason for this is to kind of expose the internal communications a bit and have a, if we, if we can agree on some way, this would be really nice. Um, uh, There's um, one more other major thing, which is IRC. Ah, yeah, true, true. That's also communication. Uh, I didn't mean real time communication. Uh, I know we should list it that this is where we are talking, but in a more kind of news like way, um, kind of async way. So um, I'd like to expose this. I have my ideas, uh, and there are also other uh, er things that we are missing in terms of kind of communicating. Uh, maybe this is a wrong word, actually, but like um, showing. Um, a calendar, it would be nice, maybe even different calendars. Let's start with one. Uh, when is the release? When are the releases coming? When is the branch off? Uh, when, are, when are the possible events, meetups, um, online sessions like this one? Um, it would be nice to have this in a central place. Uh, I know that this is a human problem that we need to agree upon something um, between the teams, but I think if we put everything there, in the right place. It's, it's all good. I think it'll be easy to do. There is no, there is no like place to do it. So if, if I think if a place starts to exist, it'll be solved. Okay. Um, in the, in the, in the, how do you call this? In the, uh, in turn, in, so not, so that we don't invent, uh, new things and deploy and, uh, talk about which blogging infrastructure we should use. I'll just uh, propose to use this course as it is. Uh, there is an RSS feed. And then on the Nix or Nix OS org side, we will just use uh, what we have for planet and aggregate this RSS feed um, and show them somewhere. Would this be a good step one? So let me let me repeat this to make sure I understand. Yeah. You want to you want to take all the RSS entries from Discourse and from the Planet and merge them to the RSS feed on Nixos.org. Uh, well, it, it I wouldn't merge them, um, but I would structure them. So uh, I would still have the unofficial, let's say, Nixos community, uh, which we say that this is unfiltered message announcement. Uh, so uh, you can also subscribe to that. Uh, then there will be, um, uh, let's say, the RFC, um, RFC steering committee uh, RSS, and their announcement. Uh, there will be a release team announcement, um, marketing team announcement, uh, maybe just general announcements as well. Um, I, 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 I would like to see that uh, certain things which are more exposed on the website. Uh, we'll probably need to go through some kind of a verification process. Um, and I think there are two ways how to do it on this course. I haven't tested any of them, but in it terms sounds, of... Sounds really good. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, so should, go ahead. Should we list that under the news uh, website? 
Yeah, yeah. So I assume there will be a news item in the menu if you're if this is what you're asking. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. So we kind of agreed upon this. Okay. Awesome. Um, one one other thing I saw is there's a plugin for Discourse to do calendar in. Can we use plugins? That's the another question. Uh I think there's a certain subset that we can use since we're using the free tier of the um, discourse uh, of the Ulster discourse. So uh, probably not. Mm -hmm. um, do we would uh, first um, would it be good enough to just use Google Calendar for until we figure it out how to go further? Just to do something. We already have a Nix Devel group. Um, still there, so maybe there's still an account. Or just tell me what's better calendar system. Could we mirror the iCal file from uh, Google's calendar on the nixos.org uh, domain so the URL stays um, stable? Um, OK, so calendar with URL needs to stay stable, and whatever that means we need to do. Yes. Uh, OK. Um, and the other, so we kind of agree on the calendar. We need it. We'll try to do, we kind of, we'll try to mirror the teams and all of this, uh, or maybe just start with one calendar. Uh, uh, I haven't had time to do a research how others are doing it, uh, other organizations, um, except a bit of the Rust community, because just, I know how they're doing it. Like the new sections, they also do the same thing. They collect the RSS feed and, uh, well, they don't collect it, but they, they have the same kind of channel. You can subscribe to release a team and so on, or work groups. Um, but I hope to do more investigations how others are doing it, or if you have time to look into it. Uh, and the last sub point of this topic is, uh, Social media, so public communication style. Um, so there are two topics here. One is the social media. Um, we probably want to get a hand on nixos.org Twitter um, to also all the announcements that come. I suppose that should also show up there. Yes. Um, and automate this way, uh, automate it away, of course. Um, and I think David is actually asking about the style of communication. What's the, what are the limits? How professional should we look? Yes, the... if you might want to have a Nixos um, social media team that maybe respond to questions on social media and maybe post some memes or something. I'm not real keen on the memes. They can backfire, I think especially because the context of the memes is everything. Yeah, of course, yes. Uh, that's, a, that's a question. My, I, I guess I, I don't, I think a lot of people sort of position us next to Arch in some ways. Um, but I, I see us, for me, aiming more towards like positioning next to CoreOS or like a Fedora tumbleweed, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah people don't follow the uh, NixOS uh, Twitter to, to get memes, probably, so. <laughs> yes. I, I think, I'll put it this way, I don't think we have the manpower to do this. I would like, like I would rather spend on tutorial, <laughs> uh, the energy, uh, than to Kind of like if you see somebody struggling online on Twitter, of course you help them. Uh, but I wouldn't have a team for this, at least not at this point. Uh, but if somebody wants to do it, I think uh, that's also fine. Uh, I think more important is that I, I would be against memes just for the sake to stay on the safe side um, and be just more plain. Uh, like a, if somebody's on Twitter, 
you should get uh, all the all the announcements also there, so that you don't have to go to the nixos.org and look there all the time. Yes, it's like a different way of RSS. So, can we make a recommendation to the community that they also should uh, be a little more professional and not post uh, memes or um, uh, annoy people like some arch uh, people do with their memes? But we cannot really influence, I think, others. I mean, they do what they yes. want, right? Yeah. It is important what we do with the official account. Okay. That's a clear statement. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope not. Like, be nice. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I hope people aren't like harassing people or. Actually, might... go ahead. Uh, we might just ask to not make NixOS a meme. <laughs> yeah. Right, like the Rust Evangelism Strike Force. <laughs> Which is a bit of a meme. Yes. Uh, I think if we say that we don't want to be a meme, this is the meme already. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, like. Um, Others will do what they want, regardless if we ask them. We can be just, we can just ask them to be nice. And people will misunderstand all the time because they come from, diff when they are in a different context and that's fine as well. We just need to solve, we just need to be nice to each other afterwards that we're like, oh, we misunderstood each other and that's it. Okay, I think then it's clear. Uh what people should do about communication. No. Um, you want to take the next point? Like there are two, three, two points more. So uh -huh, with the release press kit, um, I would discuss this at later meetings. OK. Um, especially because once the, I would invite the world of peace to the meeting uh, and maybe discuss how we can help. Uh, but let's first do the current release out, uh, um, let the release team breathe a bit for a week or two, and then maybe we invite them. But definitely, yes, we should do something with the 20 or nine, we should be providing some more help to them. Yes. And the next point is um, similar to the first, uh, how should the communication from um, at conferences or meetups, um, when the community organizes uh, a, a meetup or something, uh, if we if we should uh, make a recommendation how they communicate, if they should be more um, professional or um, if we, if I, they should I mean, be think, funny or something, I th I think that overall. Um, this would be addressed by something like a code of conduct or something like that. Yes. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think it's really appropriate to say, this is how you have to act. Um, beyond like, I don't know, like people should be themselves, but also do their best to represent the Nix community in the best way they can. Yes. That's a question. How should the community be represented? We can help, uh, we can, so step one would be providing a place where people who are presenting can share resources. So, if, you know, um, that's first step. The second part would be then to have certain resources uh, in terms of flyers um, that you can print, uh, things like that. I think that would be the way. With this, you already give, um, like, you already help how you present Nick's. You tell them like, hey, it's a bit more professional in this. Here it's a bit more community style and both are fine, right? Depends on which kind of conference you are. Yes. Uh, but okay. I think we should, instead of telling or mandating, this is how it should be done. We should rather do it and let others reuse the material and think achieve. Lead, lead by example. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Okay. I mean, obviously it'd be inappropriate to have like a huge, like, 
super drunk or a lot of drugs or like sexism, you know, like that sort of, uh, that sort of stuff probably shouldn't happen at an XOS meetup, but yes. I don't know. It shouldn't happen on any meetups. Yeah, Very yeah, right. exactly, exactly. Like that's, that's not unique to NixOS. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Except if it's about NixOS.com, that's different then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I know, I know. Um, I, I, does this, this wrap, David, uh, David, the points? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Um, we are almost at one hour now uh, of recording, uh, I think five more minutes. Can we squeeze another another point in, or should we? Um, I've been eager to to mention the David's thing about um, asking for feedback. Yeah. Y yes. Because um, there's this. I, go should ahead. be short. Um, we had that uh, the last time, and I just want to ask again. Um, if we uh, should uh, create a ticket for that and work on that later, or if we want to uh, discuss again, if we want a feedback uh, form on the documentation pages. Uh, Graham, I think you just, um, I, I don't know his name, uh, handle is LD Lewark. Mm. I think this kind of goes together with this, maybe? S Similar, but the the thing I'm eager to to mention is um, I forget where it was, but it was this in these docs where um, like you could select some text and like press a button on the page, and it would take you to that text in the Git repository, with, like ready to open an issue. Um, it was it was really really nice. Um, I'd love to have that. Okay, so so should we open an issue and discuss there? Mm, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay. We definitely need to know whether our documentation, whatever, or even on the website is doing good. Uh, yes. Explaining good. Um, okay. Um, so there are two more topics. We squeeze another one in. I gotta I will... go. You gotta go? Okay. Yeah, sorry. We'll wrap it up next time. Um, yeah, next time. Um, in two weeks. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody. You can still stay on the, on the channel. Uh, I'll just stop recording. All right. Uh, well, th thank you so much. Time. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Rob. See you. Bye. Thanks for organizing. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>